Hey guys and welcome back. So in previous videos, in the first episode, we talked about how you can actually deploy the Zabbix in your environment uh, by keeping all the best practices and making sure that you won't have any problems in the future. In the second episode, we talked about how you can easily and in an automated way deploy all of your hosts and machines and devices that you want to monitor inside your Zabbix. And now in this video, we're going to talk about basically the last, last step in your uh, journey to collect the data is how to actually apply those default templates, how to get a data from Windows machines, Linux machines, and also some sort of the network devices. So let's get started. First of all, uh, we have our default front end which is uh, from the Zabbix 5.0 release and you don't need any like Linux CLI knowledge to apply already existing templates. So all you're gonna need is a front end and at least administrator uh, user type inside it. So if we go to the configuration hosts, we can see all of the devices that we currently have added as a host inside our Zabbix. And if you are following like activation registrations and network discovery, then there probably will be hundreds or thousands of those hosts. So how we can apply the templates? First of all, we can see that there is a default host Zabbix server, which has already quite a lot of the templates, and our Linux machine, which has none of the templates, and also zero items, zero triggers, crafts, and discovery rules. So to apply the template, it's very simple. We can go just to the Linux machine, which is, uh, let's put it inside a group, uh, Linux servers. Let's update it. So once again to the Linux machines, then there is a tab templates. And in the templates, it is absolutely enough to just start typing what kind of the template do you want to add to this host. And if you don't know like what uh, options do you have to choose from, then you can just click select button and uh, choose here like uh, template operating systems. And then we, there we go, we have uh, template operating system AIX, FreeBSD, HPUX, Linux by uh, Prom, which I guess is Prometheus, by Zabbix Agent, by Zabbix Agent Active, SNMP, OpenBSD, and, and many other options. So basically what we right now need to know, we need to know what kind of monitoring type will be accessible on this host. So if we install the Zabbix agent and uh, we made sure that the firewall rules are allowing our server to connect to the Zabbix agent, or if we want our agent to connect to our server, then we need to choose Zabbix agent active. So basically we just click on this template, click select, and there we go, we have it added here. And then only thing that we need to do is click update. So there we go. Right now we see that this these templates are assigned to this host, which basically gave us 42 items, 14 triggers, graphs, and discovery rules, which are low-level discovery rules. And all of these items, since the type is Zabbix agent, they will be connecting to the IP address or DNS name, which is specified in the interface of the host with the type agent. But remember, we just added only one template, right? We added operating system Linux by Zabbix agent, then why there are so many templates? And uh, it's pretty simple because in the Zabbix, there are also nested templates. So what we did, we added a uh, template operating system uh, Linux by agent. And this template also has many nested templates with all the other names like, uh, I'll add them like here, here and here. So these templates have nested like Linux block devices, what else? What else do we have? Um, Linux CPU and file systems and much more, right? So all of these templates are also make sense to monitor on the Linux machines. What if, if we have a SNMP device, like we can create a host, it will be some sort of the switch. Um, I will create a group network uh, network devices 
create new one and we need to add SNMP interface because with the network device we most likely will be going to using SNMP click add done then we need to apply the template just like previously and you might be thinking like okay but uh, for the network devices it's usually a bit complicated than just an agent right you need to load the MIBs you need to use OIDs but it's kind of yes and no because if you want to monitor just the default uh, most generic metrics like the interface incoming outgoing traffic uh, some errors on the interface interface status it will be in most cases with the most devices enough to just select template module interfaces snmp um yep this one and this template will actually have a discovery rule which will discover all the network interfaces and for each discovered entity create automatically items for the bits received sent inbound packets with the errors or discarded uh, interface type operational status outbound packets uh, with the errors were discarded and also the speed so for each discovered interface on the host to which you apply this template it will create nine items so in a result if you have 20 um if you have 20 interfaces it will create nine items per interface you will have 180 items created on your switch host and which will start data collection uh, automatically right uh, what else uh, the most common mistake that people make is that they are thinking like if i have the template uh, like in this case the template app mem cached and also the host in the same host group they think that all the items and the triggers and the graph from the template will be applied to the host but that's not it uh, the host groups are used only for the logical grouping of the host and also for the permission setting but not for delegating some sort of the templates with the host to assign some sort of the items automatically and also like sometimes when you want to use let's say more complicated templates you might want to actually go to our git page in the zabbix so github.com slash zabbix slash zabbix uh, there is um, directory templates in which you can also find like um, let's say module and uh, no let's not take module let's take something else so database uh, oracle agent 2 which will also have a quite granular explanation about all of the options like the setup uh, setup and configure zabbix agent 2 compiled with the oracle monitoring plugin uh, set the values to the oracle connection string user macro and the user macros is in the front end like if you're on the template are here in this tab so uh, let's actually try to find this template uh, template database is not this one uh, but yeah the macros are here and the values also are here but you can override them on the host level so this in a git page sometimes it is useful for more complicated templates just to make sure what each user macro does and uh, when and why you should need to change this but mostly like for the simple things as a linux machine windows machine some network devices it is absolutely enough to use uh, default templates and just link them without changing any parameters so other ways how you can assign the templates are of course api and also uh, one small hint you can also use a mass update so select multiple hosts that you want to change click on a mass update uh, templates link templates and i don't know let's link uh, freebsd update uh, because more than once okay so to another template more there, so there is already a template added uh, from this one let's take jmx no host groups i know virtualization vmware yeah let's let's take it like this for example so there we go and now this template is added to all of these three hosts right um and the last thing like when you open the templates when you open your host to which you have assigned the templates and there are two options like unlink 
and unlink and clear. So what this does, like you see we have 103 items and I will click on the VMware one, unlink and clear. And update 103, 36 and 136. So template is gone and also a couple of items from that template are gone. And if right now on this Linux machine, I will click unlink, not unlink and clear, then click update. See, the template is gone, but the items are still here. And the items are not templated anymore. Those are created directly on the host, which is uh, not a best practice at all. And how you can fix this if you accidentally did that, uh, simply assign the template once again. Uh, operating system Linux by the Zabbix agent. Click update. We have same amount of the items, but this time the templates are here.